Hi everyone, this is Alp Akunis here with the Actiris team. Today we have another exciting use case to show you around sales and operations plan, specifically around how to do scenario compa comparisons easily within Actiris utilizing our Actiris visuals. Now, before getting into the use case, let's talk about a challenge that companies performing demand planning and specifically performing scenario analysis face. Typically, when companies want to perform a scenario analysis, they need to take a large copy of all their data and then run scenarios to see what would happen if they changed demand and how that would affect things like ending inventory, sales, costs, and gross margins. Well, this can be quite a challenge, especially when you're working with a large amount of data. And not to mention, there's really no way of having a centralized source of data to keep in one place so that companies keep track of all the different scenarios that they're running and quickly display them for reporting purposes to management and their peers. With Actiris and with Power BI, this is very easy. What we're going to be showing you is how you can compare our base scenario forecast to a new scenario we're going to create called the negative, the pessimistic scenario. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be going ahead and clicking on this button, run what if scenario analysis. By doing this, we have the ability to do three things. Create a new scenario, copy data from an existing scenario to a new scenario, and then adjust our new what if scenario demand quantity by a certain percentage to see how that changes the demand levels as well as the ending inventory drop-off levels based on the, a new higher or new lower demand. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be going ahead and hitting the three dots here to create a new row and we're going to call this scenario the test scenario or pessimistic scenario. We'll go ahead and put the status of the scenario in, in progress. And what you're going to notice right here is that when I look at my scenario, I do not see that scenario at the moment. After hitting the three dots right here and hitting save, this is going to go ahead and save that new scenario to our model. We're going to go ahead and we're going to switch that scenario right here to test scenario. And we're going to go ahead and switch the compare scenario to test scenario as well. And what we can see here is that there's no data currently in the pessimistic, pessimistic scenario that we can currently utilize. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy data from one scenario to another. I'm going to go ahead and add a new row here. And the scenario I'm going to choose to copy data from is going to be the forecast scenario. The scenario I'm going to copy data to is going to be my pessimistic scenario. And then for the cube, I'm going to choose my demand cube because I'm looking at demand and inventory levels. Hitting save right here, this is going to go ahead and kick off a copy job. We're going to see now that all of the data from our forecast scenario has been copied to our new scenario called the past scenario. And we can see that all the values are currently equivalent. But what would happen if we went ahead and we changed our demand? Well, we can go ahead and do that. Let's say, for example, we believe that our total demand quantity-wise is not going to be 2.9 million in terms of quantity, but actually 3.5. I can go ahead and make that change right here by entering this number. And what this will do is this will splash or allocate this number to all of the existing values that we originally had in our forecast scenario. So hitting save right here, this will go ahead and save those values behind the scenes, keeping into account the seasonality. Hitting the back button right here, I can now see how my ending inventory levels as well as demand variances are changing over time. So in this case, we had a 17% difference. We can also see how our ending inventory is changing over time as well. And just like that, with a few clicks and a few entries, we were able to quickly copy data from one scenario to another and then adjust that new scenario to show a comparison of what would happen. We can also look at other things such as a particular product group, such as this product category right here. And we can also change to a particular region as well. We can also drill up to look at a monthly level to see how our inventory and our demand and supply levels are changing. So here's a breakdown of our monthly level. And just like that, we can quickly drill, change our views, and compare scenarios as many as we want just with the click of a few buttons right here. So I hope you enjoyed this scenario analysis use case right here. And this is Alp Actinus with the Actiris team signing out.